Hello and good evening everybody. Hey, here's me, Elisa Vulpes, and I actually have tonight uh, a very, very special guest, which is Cara Bridges. Um, she's going to come in in just a moment. And we are going to do a concert together. Yay! Right, so um, I'm actually going to um, put it on just now. Here we go. She's joining us from all the way from Edinburgh. And, um, oh, um, the first technical problem. Um, just, oh, no, 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 no technical problems. <laughs> Here you are. So, Carol uh, comes uh, all the way from, I can see you are in a meadow at the moment, aren't you? Is that, mm -hmm. That's absolutely real, yeah? Yeah, no, exactly. That's definitely what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> There's some trees right right behind me yeah. in my house. Right, like I, I am, I've got mountains behind me because it's... Uh, it's just yeah. like that kind of girl. And um, <laughs> yeah, so Caro is um, a musician and songwriter based in Edinburgh. And she's been working with a band, which is Caro Bridges and the River for 10 years, making folk and jazz influenced indie music. And um, she's also worked with violinist Emma Lloyd and the duo Caro and Emma and with Millie Otto and Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, Ryan Gibson, um, in an experimental jazz folk fusion setup called the Enharmonic Collective. And if that wasn't enough, she's also a community musician and a choir leader. I mean, geez, man, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think that time is stretchy. That's it. <laughs> well, I actually met Carol... Um, nine years ago or something but the funny story of it is that when i first came into edinburgh i went to the place called uh, the forest online which i was uh, it was a place a really cool place where all the cool kids were hanging out and i wanted to see what the scene was like and i heard a cd and carol you were on it and i was like oh my god who's that wow i wish i was like her and then i met you and now we're friends yay <laughs> That's really fun. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you remember that. <laughs> and I didn't know that. That yeah. is new information to yeah, me. Yeah. Well, OK, <laughs> without further ado, I'm going to shut up now and uh, we're going to start playing some songs. So um, I'm going to I'm going to we're going to say goodbye to her for just a second. But she's coming back and um, just after my song. So here we go. And um, so I'm going to be playing a um, I'm going to be playing and I hope that that actually you heard all of that and then I didn't make a stupid mistake and uh, muted her. God damn it, I really hope not. <laughs> anyway, here's the song um, Tutto in Torne Ombra uh, from the album Mercy. Ombra tutto in torno tene vai via mentre il mondo tace la sci sì, tutto il tuo dolore a spingerti verso il tuo domani. E mentre io piango mi accorgo che niente più importante di te. Niente se non ciò che dobbiamo fare, ciò che dobbiamo diventare. Priva di ogni strato, di maschera, spoglia del passato, infine libera, senza più difesa. E vulnerabile, questa è la mia lezione. Dopo tutte le dolci parole, quando ho detto è morto il nostro amore, tu mi hai dato tutto il tuo potere. Questo sbaglio non farò. Ah, 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 
prima di trovarci eravamo persi poi il conflitto ci ha resi diversi se fossi rimasta nella tua vita certo che sarei impazzita anche se sono causa del tuo dolore e la delusione ha ucciso il nostro grande amore ed ogni tua ferita è ancora aperta la nostra storia ha scoperto e solo tu potrai amarti se vorrai sempre us a song carol tell us about i it. am i am i'm gonna play a song that's called from one hill to another i'm just gonna have a little sip of water first um so i wrote from one hill to another about five years ago uh, and i'd gone up carlton hill and i could see arthur's seat and i thought actually i'm gonna go up after seat as well so i literally went from one hill to another and just recently because of where i live i'm actually quite close to castorfin hill and blackford hill so again kind of feeling like it's become quite a relevant song for me over the past few weeks um because i'm able to get to both of those places on my kind of daily exercise in these odd little lockdown lives we're leading and um, so i'm going to play this yes there you go
awesome. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, um, right. I think oh, we've got a nice comment from all the way from New Zealand. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Eric in New Zealand is is watching at 5 a.m. Um, it's Anzac, oh, wow. I, I know, uh, it's Anzac Day there. So he's saying uh, Kiwis will be preparing to stand by the front gate at 6 a.m. for Anzac Day. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm now going to uh, play a song, and um, this song is called "Better This Way," and it's about um, it's more about the enemy within than the enemy without. So the in internal enemy. And you've got to imagine at the end there's this really amazing violin solo that obviously is not going to be here, so I'm going to cut it short. But in the um, in the album version, it's so cool. There's like layer upon layer upon layer of violin. Love it. Better this way.
Yeah. Um, so what are you going to sing us next, Carol? Well, I think um, and it's up between two, but I'm going to sing um, What We Talk About, which is a song that I wrote um, having not read the book What We Talk About When We Talk About Love, um, because it sat on my bedroom floor for like months on end and I just never read it. Um, and so uh, I decided to write a song that I kind of thought... Well, well, it, it was, was a little bit about being in this situation with someone who at the time I was like kind of into and I was like, oh, you know, we're going to like, we had this drink and I was like, oh, I should talk about a book I'm reading. <laughs> and I realised that I didn't know anything about the book I was reading because I hadn't really started reading it. I'd read like 15 pages of it. <laughs> so it's a bit about that thing of like always meaning to get around to something and never quite getting around to something. And I feel like I'm feeling like that a lot over the past few weeks. Um, because even though we're all in, you know, we're all now in our little isolation bubbles, there's this idea that we've all we've got all this time. And in fact, it's just it's actually a real struggle for a lot of people. And so, yeah. So, so I, I kind of felt, felt like it was an appropriate thing to sing yeah. for that reason. Yeah. Um, and also it's a little bit like, like yeah, every, every time I have a Zoom call with my family, we just say the same things. things. So <laughs> it's what we talk about. about. It's like the, the first 15, 15 pages of the book every, every time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it's about. And that's what I'm going to play. you to listen
when we talk. Oh, that was lovely. Lovely. <laughs> It's been a Thank long you. day. I kind of feel like that myself. Um, yeah. But I, I, uh, I have to say, you know, I think, you know, what you said actually before is very um, relevant and very true. That's a lot of, of people feel this pressure like, oh, I have to be productive, you know. And it's like, yeah. uh, we're going through a massive planetary trauma, you know. It's okay yeah. to be productive. <laughs> you know, exactly just in that. case you've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that yeah. it's, it's like, like yeah, yeah I feel like, like you know more about these kinds of things than me but it's kind of like we're all in a big grief cycle together and for some reason everyone's like yes we have to do all the stuff and I'm like no we don't <laughs> And, yeah. and some days, you know, you might feel more productive than others, but other days, I definitely like yesterday. I had a day. I was, I just was like, I'd been quite productive for like three days in a row, and then I was like, right, I'm just gonna watch Doctor Foster on on this like this series on Netflix, and I just watched the entire first season, like in like the whole morning. Brilliant! I was like, what the? This isn't me. Like daytime TV. What? <laughs> but you know, it happens. <laughs> you need it sometimes. Sometimes you need it. <laughs> Hey, that we've got another um who I cannot pronounce your name. I'm so wrong. I'm so sorry. Be oh, I don't know. But but nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Um right, okay. So I'm going to do a song now. This is my last song and it's um again an Italian song. Um mm. and it's called uh, Ce la farò. And I'm just going to change the um the scene here. Yes, and uh, and so this song uh, is also from Mercy, and uh, and it's about when I first moved to Scotland. Um, everybody, well, it's about that for me, but I think for other people, uh, it's more about following your inner voice and just regardless of what other people may think, um, keep doing what you think is right. You know, like when I first moved here, uh, ma, everybody thought I was insane. They were like, what's wrong with you? Why are you going to Scotland? It's bloody cold. The food isn't as good as Italy, you know, whatever. And I was like, yeah, well, I know that. But, uh, you know, the, there was something inside of me that was saying, go there. And I couldn't tell you why. But I think it was a good, uh, it was a good, you know, it has turned out <laughs> that it was a, a good voice. And, um, and so the song uh, means, Ce la farò, means, I will make it. And I did, I did. <laughs> right, okay.
All right, so uh, we've got now our last song from Carol. So what are you going to delight us with? <laughs> yeah, um, I think I was going to play one thing, but I'm going to play another. I've changed my mind. Um, so it's a song that's called The Mermaid and the Moon. And I wrote it last year for a little storytelling thing that I wrote that was kind of story mixed in with song and music. Um, and it's about... A marine scientist who basically meets a mermaid and is inspired by the mermaid and so I feel like it speaks quite well to that being led by your inner voice and just going for it and doing your own thing um so that's why I've chosen to play it to finish and mm-hmm. um, yeah and the piece that I made was called the scientist and the siren it is available on my band camp and such um as like a draft demo thing and I hope to turn it into I did perform it live a couple of times last year but I'm hoping to get it more of a show um but we shall see if that happens um so that's yeah that's kind of my thing that's available on my bandcamp page um but just before we finish i would also like to say buy elisa volpez's album because it's brilliant i listened it, to it all the way through on monday and i loved every song so um yes, yes. i paid her, i paid her 10, 10 pounds to say that <laughs> 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 <That's>... <laughs> no, uh, no, no, it's it's, it's a, a really great album, and I love her songs. Even after knowing her for nine years, I'm still into her music. So that's that says something, I think. That's like legacy. legacy. So, so, um, so, so this is a song. <laughs> so this is a song called "The Mermaid and the Moon."
Well, that was so lovely. I really loved it. I really loved it. Wow. Thank I really, you. I really hope you'd record that because it's so lovely. I could just have the image. I just had the images in my head, you know. Of, oh, oh, good. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I'll Thank you. you. I'll tell you what yeah. the music video is going to be like. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I think well, we got to the end. Um, yeah. Ooh, hey, we've got somebody else. That, uh, so I've got these two people. Um, this one person has got a very difficult name, but I, they say that they're your friends. So Zbigniew Sieknula. Ah, yes. cool. Yes, yes, I, right. said, I said it. Um, and then Marianne Lasak. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow, that's cool. So cool. Here, here's uh, my, uh, I have my students from years ago. <laughs> um <laughs> So nice to see you, cool. see you, Marianne. Okay, well, um, so if you guys enjoyed the uh, concert and um, and you want to support us making music, you can. So um, we've got some tip jars. Um, so if you like to give us uh, something, you can just go to PayPal me and uh, I'm Hypnotic Killing and and it's and Caro is Caro Bridges. And also we've got albums. I mean, um, I've got albums on my on my um, website, elisavulpas.com. And you, Caro, you've got albums too, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, you, you can, can get, get them. them. I, I I prefer if people buy them from Bandcamp, um, but you can you can listen to me on Spotify and things. But Bandcamp is they're really good. It's a yeah, that's a good place to buy music. So oh, cool. Me too. Yeah. I'm on Bandcamp as well. I'm on Bandcamp as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much, Cara, for coming on. And uh, yeah. even though you're like, your guitar is disappearing every two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, am I disappearing, disappearing into the... Under yes, it's fine. yes, yes, yes. It's if, like... if, you go, if you get backward, you disappear into the forest. Goodbye, hey. Cara. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> all right you guys everybody else I'll see you next um well, I, don't, I don't know if it's next friday or the friday after but anyway on fridays at 6 p.m on this channel 